You're listening to the Vocabit Podcast, where I help students improve their vocabulary for the SAT, ACT, and life itself using my unique and research-backed story-based method. On this podcast, I'm sharing the best tips and tricks for a more enriched vocabulary and pain-free test day. Hello, and welcome to episode number 15 of the Vocabit Podcast. I'm Erica Abbott, a former English and history teacher, the author of the young adult novel Ahead of Her Time, and the founder of the eponymously named vocabulary company, Vocabit. So if you listened to the last episode, you know that we're doing a little mini-series at the moment called Five Ways to Instantly Sound Smarter. And I know that little mini-series is a little tautological, tautology, T-A-U-T-O-L-O-G-Y. It's when you repeat something, just saying different words in case you don't know that phrase. So another example of tautology would be shout it out loud or repeat that again or deja vu all over again. Those are all examples of tautology, repeating the same thing, just using different words. And so is little mini series, but I like it. So whatever. Anyway, back to five ways to instantly sound smarter. Yes, avoiding tautological phrases is definitely one of them, but that's actually not the focus of this episode. Today, we are going to be talking about less versus fewer. I actually learned this one from my little brother. We went to the same school, so I'm not sure why he learned it so well, but I didn't. But for years, I blithely went through life saying that anything that had a lesser quantity of something was less. Fewer, as far as I was concerned, was optional. I would say things like, there are less things on my to-do list today than normal, or there are less people at the store today than normal. And now when I say that, it is honestly almost a struggle to get the words out. My brother, back when I first made this error in his presence, he literally like hunched up his shoulders and rolled his neck like I had just scratched his spine or something. It was like it caused him physical pain to hear such a blatant grammatical error. And for better or for worse, once you learn these common grammatical mistakes, you will probably feel that way too. And I can almost guarantee you that the people with whom you will be doing college interviews and job interviews will be on the other side of these errors. So even if you don't realize you're making them, you just, you know, think you're making a good point. They might be internally reacting like my brother, like you just flayed open their back and scratched their spine. And that's probably not going to do you any favors on the admissions front. So are you ready to learn less versus fewer? It's actually super simple. You just need to hear it. Fewer describes anything that you can count. So with my example above, it should have been that there were fewer things on my to-do list than normal because the number of items on a to-do list is very countable. It should have been that there were fewer people in the store that day because you can count people. Or you could say there are fewer cookies on my plate than I would prefer because you can count cookies. Fewer is for anything that you can count. Less, on the other hand, describes anything that you cannot count, things that are more intangible. So there might be less chaos than normal, less damage than you expected, less noise. Less is for anything that you cannot count. One common question is about money. Now, technically, you can count money, but whatever Wizards of Smart created these rules decided that money is more of an idea. It's more intangible. So it's less money. But because dollars are so obviously countable, it's fewer dollars. So less money, but fewer dollars. This less versus fewer issue is one that even pretty educated people make sometimes. I was speaking with a group of writers once, writers, and one of them was bemoaning the state of education today. And she said that kids today read less books than they used to. You know, she probably was just thinking on her feet. She probably meant to say that they read less than they used to, but you can't read less books than you used to because you can count books. People read fewer books than they used to. You're probably going to have to retrain yourself on this one. After that initial conversation with my brother, I found myself kind of pausing and stumbling a lot before less versus fewer. You don't even realize how ingrained some of these things are until they're pointed out to you. But just remember, if you can count it, it's fewer. That was tip number two on how to instantly sound smarter. Be sure to subscribe to the podcast so you don't miss the rest. And if you're enjoying it, please leave it a five-star review. To continue painlessly improving your vocabulary and English skills, be sure to check out the Vocabit membership at vocabit.com. You get a wealth of vocabulary boosting material, and I add new material to it twice a week. Thank you so much, and I will see you next week. 